not all those who wander are lost. Wade. It's Ted, actually. The Ted. <laughs> I'll be damned. At least I was. But your wish seems to have worked. So where's Dr. Saltzman? Well... It's quiet, too quiet. Perhaps that Ginny did deceive us after all. Hey, being paranoid. Yeah. It might be Saturday, it's early. Everyone might still be asleep. Oh, listen to those birds. I missed that sound. Let's hope it's waking your missing headmaster up. Well, I shouldn't have to. Gentlemen, would you stop doing that? My sincerest apologies, Fred. It's Ted. The Ted. Hmm. I'm also sorry for intruding. But once a wish commences, I am tethered to it. And I thought I should warn you about something. Like how you warned us you wouldn't be bringing Dr. Saltzman back? I am aware of this complication. His soul remains at the bar, and he's drinking quite heavily. Mm, that's him, all right. As our contract states, I have granted your wish, exactly. Bring the three of us back to life. I have no idea why he lingers. Well, I do. You're trying to get us to burn through another wish. This is exactly what happened at Falcon's Landing. We won't be fooled this time. Take that, you smoked blueberry. About that warning. If you're supposedly dead and your friends see you, only for you to eventually fail and use your second wish, this encounter could alter their perception of reality. Every mind is different, but I've seen it drive people mad. But you're the Ginny expert. So I'm sure you already knew that. Come on, Wudgie. Let's go get some waffles. Now you trust that, Jenny, do you? Not at all. But I can't risk driving people mad. Then what great tell the to do? Ghost of Landon Kirby. My boy? Is it really you? Unfinished business has kept me from passing beyond the spectral plane. I need to find Dr. Saltzman. Ugh. If you're a real ghost, you know where Dr. Saltzman is. <sighs> okay, I am the dead one. Who are you to be telling me how ghosts work? Wait, is this a dream? <sighs> yes. <sighs> Busted, Rotato. I should have known. <laughs> I always dream about you coming back to the school. I need to find Dr. Saltzman. That makes sense. Since I'm not doing my therapy appointments with Emma anymore, this must be my subconscious trying to make sense of all the traumatic stuff that we've been going through lately. That includes Dr. Saltzman. Him dying had to be rough. Okay, you're worse at being a dream than you are at being a ghost. Dr. Saltzman's not dead. Wade. Tell me everything. <laughs> okay, so, <sighs> well, hopes become a bit of a problem. I don't even know where to start on Josie and Lizzie. Caleb and Cleo were 